Arab Motors TV for Motorheads. It's the fastest growing and possibly the most talked about city in the world. We are of course talking about Dubai. Renowned for its sand, sun and shopping, it was once a tranquil town home to pearl fishermen. Today Dubai is flashy, fun and home to over 4 million people from all corners of the world. The city is growing at an unbelievable rate. And about the only thing faster than the city's growth right now are the cars that fly around Dubai Autodrome. The complex includes an FIA-sanctioned 5.39km circuit with six different configurations. There's also a race and driving school and a CIK-approved karting track. And it was at the Autodrome that the 2008-2009 national racing season got underway recently as Dubai Autodrome chairman Saeed Kalfan hosted a press conference to preview the forthcoming season. We have many races, but we are concentrating at this moment for the national race. And the national race, we bring in some local and some people who live in Dubai and been here for a long time who love motorsport. And I don't want to say Mr. X or Y at this moment because the season just going to start now. But end of the season, come back and I will show you what we have done. This season's being touted as the start of a new era for UAE motorsport as the Dubai Autodrome, together with sponsors and competitors, aim to take local motorsport to a new level. As our chairman says, we're entering a new era of uh, motorsport in the UAE uh, with sponsorship on board, with television coverage. And everyone's basically raising their game. You know, it's um, it's going to be very interesting. I mean, we've got uh, a fantastic uh, UAE Touring Car Championship lined up uh, with sponsorship from Yellow Hat and uh, House of Portier. The UAE Sport Bikes. Well, I'm a big fan of the, the motorcycle boys, and uh, they really put it out, and they, they'll give a good show. And of course, the Gulf Radical Cup. Those, those radicals really go quickly around uh, the various configurations of our circuit. So yeah, I, I, we're in for a bumper season, really. Of course, finance plays a big part in the development of motorsport, and this season received a major boost with the addition of three new sponsorship partners, TAM Auto Engineering, Yellow Hat, and House of Portier. We see a huge future for the motorsports. There is a lot of new um, people coming into the racing, a lot of new um, cars, a lot of new enthusiasm. Um, we see a huge future for it, so um, we feel it's a part of TAM, Motorsports and we grow together with the motorsport industry in the UAE and Dubai Autodrome is the perfect place, you know, and we believe we can create a perfect partnership down the line. Sponsorship is really important for uh, motor racing globally and uh, specifically in the UAE, you know, to take it to the level that we want to take it. Uh, sponsorship is integral to the development of, of the sport from grassroots level right up. I would say that the progress of motorsport in the UAE is linked intrinsically linked to um, finding uh, corporate sponsors and we prefer to call them partners because as, as a partnership we can work together to develop motorsport and only with financial input and um, expertise input from sponsors can we take you know the sport to the next level. The UAE National Race Day Series comprises of three categories of racing. The Yellow Hat UAE Touring Car Championship in partnership with House of Portier, the UAE Sport Bike Championship and the Gulf Radical Cup. Taking a look at the season calendar, there are eight national race days taking place over six months, with each event consisting of two races in each category. The series culminates in late April 2009. All the races take place on the 5.39 kilometer track of the Dubai Autodrome, which is one of the most modern in the world. It's also one of the most challenging, with a combination of high-speed straights and technical corners. The circuit contains six different configurations, 
designed to allow three circuits to operate simultaneously. Not surprisingly, the circuit was designed to meet the strictest safety requirements and was the first FIA sanctioned circuit to incorporate wide asphalt runoff areas. Formerly known as the DAMC Open Saloon Series, this year the series has undergone a makeover and been transformed into the UAE Touring Car Championship. Well, the UAE Touring Car Championship, um, you know, has been rebranded this season. Um, last year it was the Open Saloon Series. It was the first time we did the series for uh, what we call tin top racing or saloon cars that you can buy at dealerships. And uh, then it was decided, let's rebrand this into the, the, it's the sort of the world naming, which is touring cars. There's apparently 40 or 45 cars uh, ready to race in, this, in the forthcoming season. So it's been a, really a, an amazing success story uh, for motorsport. A record number of over 40 teams have registered to compete in the Yellow Hat UAE Touring Car Championship, which consists of six separate classes of racing ranging from supercharged Class 1 Monsters to your more regular 1600cc saloons. Nearly all the main manufacturers will take to the grid for what will be undoubtedly an exciting season. Every class will be tightly contested with the best tin top drivers doing battle in what is likely to become the premier category of motorsport in the UAE. And whilst making predictions prior to the start of the season is pure speculation, there's no doubt that the UAE National Race Day Series will showcase some new stars of local motorsport. Coming up after the break, we'll be taking a look at some of the main contenders in this season's UAE National Race Days. Don't go away. Welcome back. It's the build-up to the 2008-2009 National Race Day Series, and both drivers and riders are at the track for a day of testing prior to the start of the season. Despite the competition on the track, there's a lot of camaraderie in the pits. It's a good chance for everyone to catch up after a long break from racing. It's the third year now for the UAE National Race Day Series, and the racing continues to attract more competitors in all categories. Looking ahead to this season, the man to beat in Class 1 of the Yellow Hat UAE Touring Car Championship will be the 2007-2008 champion, Kareem Alazari. This season sees Alazari continuing to race in the rear-wheel drive Porsche 911 GT2, which has been specially modified for this track. It's a far cry from racing supercross bikes as a six-year-old. These days, there's a little more competition out there. There's a lot of new people here, which is great. Um, a lot of more experienced guys here as well. So just studying the grid when we're on the track, studying the cars, keep it in one piece. Once we finish the first weekend, uh, then we go for the championship, I think, again. One definite threat to Alazari's title will come from Mohamed Al Falassi. Falassi is one of a growing number of Emiratis to take up motorsport. This is his third year in the championship, and he undoubtedly has high aspirations of taking a number of podium positions this season. Last year saw Falassi compete in a Golf GTI, but this season he swapped that for the rear-wheel drive 540 horsepower Corvette Z06, which sees him race in the Class 1 category against the Porsches and the Nissan Skylines. It's a big step up from the GTI, and Falassi has been testing extensively throughout the summer. The car feels okay, feels good. I feel confident that I can push harder. Uh, I did the fastest time today with the testing, but uh, I know I can push harder. Uh, it's still too early, you know, when it's in a competition, when there's a proper race, with the, all the pressure and the influence from all the drivers, makes a different, uh, different scenario. 